How much did counties offer in incentives in that time period? During that five-year time period we were looking at, they offered $284 million worth of incentives to private businesses. And actually the number of, or the amount of money paid out was smaller than that too. That's correct, because when a county makes an agreement, they don't pay it out immediately. Sometimes the company has to create the number of jobs or perform some other measure to receive the incentive. So just because it's approved within that five-year period doesn't mean it's paid out within that five-year period. And how much did they actually pay in the five-year period? Counties paid $144 million in that five-year period. What kinds of incentives are county governments offering? So we have some counties that use performance-based incentives, and I use that term to say they have to create a certain number of jobs, they have to invest a certain amount of money into existing property to increase their property tax base. We have other incentives of where the county just lets a private company use county property, so a parking lot or something. We have other incentives of where the county will pay to extend a road or a sewer line for a private business and they don't have to pay for that. We've had others that have just paid for the state building code requirements to get that building up to code and that way the business can go on with its regular operations. So it depends on the county. Um, some counties have decided to award incentives as a percentage of their property tax base. So a little bit different for every county, but overall, um, 81 out of our 100 counties are participating in economic development at the local level. Now, all 100 counties responded to your request for information about this, but you mentioned it was kind of difficult in the report to, to put this together. How could the legislature make this easier? Well, every single county reports economic development differently. Um, some keep different types of records and... So, and everyone has a different method of doing it. So it's really hard for a taxpayer to say, I live in Mecklenburg County, and how does this compare to Wake County or to Buncombe County? So if the legislature were to just inventory what the counties were doing, maybe have a standard reporting process so that it's you know, easily comparable across counties, it would increase transparency for taxpayers and also let lawmakers, the local and state level, know if these are working or not.